My name is Jacob Williams, and I am studying a Master's in Sociology, Contemporary Social Thought, and I'm the recipient of the Alf Waddington Scholarship. I grew up on a small farm near Falmouth in Cornwall, which overlooks the beautiful coastlines of the surrounding area. Ever since I can remember, I've always enjoyed learning about anything and everything. Whilst I may not be a polymath, I still find myself venturing into un unknown fields even now, when I should really be concentrating on my degree. <laughs> College for me was the most significant moment of my life because it was here that I found my two great passions within academia, sociology and psychology. I'll be honest with you, I hadn't even heard of a subject known as sociology before studying my A-levels. Well, there's certainly no regrets there. I continued to live in Falmouth until I moved away to Bath to study my undergraduate degree in psychology and sociology. I knew immediately after completing my first year that I wanted to pursue my master's and my doctorate. The only problem was, where? Well, I think we all know the answer to that question. So, why did I choose the London School of Economics? Well, the rationale is threefold. First and foremost, I, like those who founded the school, wanted to know the causes of things particularly in regards to the soci society we live in and the social practices that govern it. Although for me that was not the most influential aspect, but rather the fact that the school was founded on the premise for the betterment of society. And that spoke deep down to me on a personal level. Secondly was the heritage of the sociology department at LSE. For those who do not know, LSE was the first university to establish a department of sociology within Britain, and I wanted to be part of that history. Lastly, is the outstanding reputation in both research and teaching that the department has continued to uphold. Currently, the department is ranked fifth in the world, whilst the department is also ranked second in the UK for four-star world-class research being produced by the scholars within it. The only issue now was how I was going to fund my postgraduate education. I was originally going to attend last year, however, due to my financial situation, I had no other choice but to defer until this year. As soon as the applications opened, I applied for the graduate support scheme as well as any available scholarships. Nevertheless, I knew that even if I was extremely lucky in successfully gaining any one of these, I still needed to supplement these potential funds. Although I was working, I knew that I would not be able to save up enough money, so I applied to a postgraduate crowdsourcing website, Student Funder. It gave me the opportunity to raise £2,000 in 30 days in order to qualify for a further £10,000 loan, which would have been just enough to cover my tuition fees. Challenge accepted. Over the course of my campaign, I produced a number of events which raised awareness for my cause. However, I wanted to do something sociologically influenced and this led to me coming up with the idea of living homeless on the streets of Bristol for four nights with just a sleeping bag and a piece of cardboard as my friends. Believe me, cardboard certainly makes a difference on the hard floors. Whilst it was of course nothing compared to the lives of those who had no choice but to live homeless, the people I met humbled me to the core and spurred me on to finish my campaign successfully. Furthermore, such an experience confirmed that I wanted to make a huge difference in the world, and of course, where better to do it than LSE? That said, I can remember exactly where I was when I received the news I had been successful in gaining this life-changing scholarship. I was working at Boeing in Bristol when I received a phone call from my father to tell me that I had a letter from LSE. Expecting it just to be information regarding my induction to the university, I asked him to open it. I was both thrilled and humbled to find that I was worthy of receiving a scholarship. The scholarship has allowed me to gain a place, uh, sorry, the scholarship has allowed me to so solely concentrate on my degree, which if all goes to plan, will enable me to gain a place on the wonderful PhD programme here at LSE. The scholarship will also give me a chance to complete an internship in Parliament or in civil service later this summer. What you as donors have done is, in your own way, and staying true to the philosophy here at the university is to have bettered society. You have given others and I the opportunity to follow your dream, our dreams of making society a better place for all. I hope to be stood where you are in years to come by becoming a donor myself. 
My future ambition is rather a large one, and I know I have my work cut out, but it will certainly not put me off. As Gandhi stressed, be the change you wish to see in the world. Hence, I would like to become the first sociologically influenced Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. <laughs> I want to be the Prime Minister that genuinely cares about the population's well-being over anything else, whilst one that radically changes the way we think about and take part in politics. Because for me, the most dangerous phrase in the English language is, we've always done it this way. It helps spur me on into believing that we can always do better in this world, and I hope to contribute hugely in doing so. Last of all, I would like to once again thank my donor, who can unfortunately not be here, Miss Howes, for facilitating my dream of attending LSE. We met for coffee like a couple of weeks ago, and she told me about her experiences of being a probation officer for seven years and then moving on to doing uh, lecturing at college at A level um, at A levels and then going on to make educational films and you know she really inspired me um, to work hard and really hope to uh, achieve my dreams so I hope that you will see me up on the party podium fighting for the same just causes that I learn about during my time here at LSE thank you so much <laughs>